Hi everybody, story 30, p beginning part one, Halloween fireworks. Casper the ghost, Gerald the giraffe, Fiona the fox, Barry the bat, and of course our fairies, Luna, Stella, and Aurora. These fairies had been entrusted with the task of protecting the ancient forest from any harm, and they had sensed a disturbance in the magical balance of their home. As the clock rang 9 p.m., they were all invited to a big fireworks party with a haunting melody played by Casper on an old forgotten piano in the clearing. And now for our saying, it would be very unwise to plan a church event that, that would go against our Halloween fireworks. Ciao! Once upon a spooky Halloween night, in a mystical forest bathed in the pale light of the full moon, a curious cast of characters gathered for a most extraordinary adventure. Deep within the heart of the forest, Gerald the giraffe stood tall, his long neck reaching for the treetops. He was known throughout the forest for his gentle nature and his ability to spot the most elusive creatures from afar. Gerald had heard whispers of a mysterious Halloween party that was said to take place only once every hundred years, and he couldn't resist the temptation to attend. Meanwhile, Fiona the fox, known for her cunning and clever ways, had received a cryptic invitation to the same party. She smelled the scent of intrigue in the air, and couldn't resist the chance to uncover the secrets of this enigmatic gathering. As the night grew darker, Barry the Bat, with his leathery wings and sharp senses, glided gracefully through the forest. He had received a summons from the ancient spirits of the woods to attend this eerie celebration, promising a night of wonder and mystery. Among the gathering shadows, a spectral figure emerged. Casper the Ghost. Casper had been haunting the forest for centuries but had grown tired of his solitary existence. He sought the company of others. On this fateful Halloween night, in the midst of this peculiar assembly, three ethereal fairies named Luna, Aurora, and Stella fluttered down from the moonlit sky with their delicate wings and shimmering gowns. They were the embodiment of enchantment. These fairies had been entrusted with the task of protecting the ancient forest from any harm, and they had sensed a disturbance in the magical balance of their home. As the clock rang 9 p.m., the party began. With a haunting melody played by Casper on an old, forgotten piano in the clearing, the giraffe, the fox, and the bat, together with the ghost and the fairies, danced under the moonlight, their laughter and joy echoing through the trees. It was a sight to behold, as creatures from different worlds came together to celebrate this extraordinary Halloween night. Suddenly, emerging from the shadows, a gang of mischievous hyenas appeared each wearing a wicked grin upon their faces. They had brought with them a spectacular fireworks display that lit up the forest in a dazzling spectacle of colors and shapes. Ghosts floated in the night sky, witches soared on broomsticks, goblins danced with fiery abandon, and monstrous figures emerged from the bursts of light. Hi everybody, story 30, end part one. Emerging from the shadows, a gang of mischievous hyenas appeared. They, they brought with them a spectacular fireworks display that lit up the forest in a dazzling spectacle of colors and shapes. Ghosts floated in the night sky. Witches soared on broomsticks and goblins danced with fiery abandon. And monstrous figures emerged from the bursts of light. Ciao!